Minster track and field team in a good position to sweep the D3 district meet at Spencerville after day one. Ladies in second, the guys are in first, but plenty of points on the line with today's finals. Top four move on to next week's regional meets. Starting off with the girls pole vault, bar at 10 feet, Spencerville Skyler Miller. She's up and over. She takes third on the afternoon. Marion locals Olivia Hemelgarn, also no trouble, gets second. That's over 11 feet. Champion also clears 11 feet. That's Minster's Maria Heckman. Check out this vault. Up and down without touching the bar. Nicely done. On to the track. Boys, 110 high hurdles. Spencerville's Anthony Shue, gold in 14.83. Lincoln View's Hunter Blankemeyer, second. Minster's Chad Stoner, third. Girls 100 goes to Minster's Hannah Bargy, 12.74. DSJ's Maddie Berge, second. St. Henry's Lisa Lutmer and Crestview's Grace Callow making it to Troy. Boys 100, Jameer Coleman under 11 again, goes for 10.98. Teammate Michael Rogers, second. He'd win the 200. Minster's Eli Wolf and the Lancers' Michael Gary also make the regional. Skip ahead to the Boys 800. Two district records fall as LCC's Scott Wilkie wins in 156.38. Jay's Tyler Conley, second. Perry with Perry's Wesley Godfrey, third. Girls 3200, St. Henry's Courtney Kunk a winner in 11.44. Wildcat freshman Mor Morgan Pohl second. Rangers Hannah Privet third. Boys two mile now. Knights Micah Grandstaff wins in 9.55. LCC's Alex Riggs second, followed by the Skins Spencer Schultz. Mile, mile winner Bailey Toe. He broke the district record in the 1600. Girls far by four by four. All Minster in district record time 4.03. One Flyers would have also gotten the record. They take second. Audeville and Jefferson also advance. Finally, boys 4x4, four four, Wildcats sweep in 330-84. Crestview, St. Henry, and St. John's round out the regional qualifiers. On to those team results. Minster girls, they run away with it. Marion Local second, followed by the Lady Green and the host Bearcats. On the boys' side, Minster wins as well. They do get the sweep, beating LCC by 34. St. Henry, Crestview, and Lincoln View rounding out the top five. It's been a well, record-breaking season. to get a 10-9 by the end of the season, which I got that. Now I'm aiming <laughs> for a 10-8, uh, low 10-9, hopefully like a 10-9-0. And uh, to go further than my long jump PR, which is 23, and uh, win state, of course. All right. Well, good luck to you, Jameer. Thanks Thank for you. stopping by. Scott Willicke, you remember that one of the uh, – both relays, 4 by 2 and 4 by one uh, Just 4 by 2 4 by 2 How do you feel like you're fitting in uh, to that team? Uh, it's exciting. I like it a lot. I never did any sprints until this year. They just decided to – he asked me to put go into it, and I was like, yeah, sure. <laughs> it's working out good so far. Yeah, because 800 your thing, right? Yeah. I mean, district record, five guys under two minutes. What was that like coming down the stretch feeling that heat? Uh, the first lap was actually a lot faster than I thought it was going to be. I was hoping, or I was thinking we were going to be around 58, 59. Then they, my coach told me we were like a 56, I think. Yeah. I was like, wow. And we started going around, and I felt, felt really good. Started pushing around the 200 mark, and that last 100 was just it was crazy. It was a good feeling to finally get under two. I've been trying all season.